uh, used to be called file field insert, uh, which, uh, no, it's not, not that, it's uh, remote file sources. Somebody here knows the title of it better than me, but what is it? File field sources. Craig Kunas, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, great module, uh, we'll see it in action in a moment here. We're also going to add a, a taxonomy vocabulary uh, just of book tags. So we can tag books uh, about different topics and stuff like that, and then you can kind of, what people call pivot through the site and sort of like, you know, find me all the books that have this tag and then go in and see a, a book and this book is also tagged with something else. Show me all the books with that tag um, and so on and so forth. It's all the rage in Web 2.0 uh, and we want to keep up with the Web 2.0 now that Web 3.0 is just about to come out. Um, so there we go. Um, next thing we're going to do is create some content on the site. Uh, so we're going to create a book, uh, and here we have book title, remember this field? Uh, in Drupal for Dummies, uh, the author, Lynn Bailey, which you pronounce it that way, um, and uh, publisher, tags for it, ISBN number, and the description. So we've changed the, the word body, as Drupal normally calls it, to description, um, and then we can choose a file to upload as the cover image. And we upload it like that. A little alt text, and then save. Uh, now we've got this big honking book cover down the bottom there. Uh, we'll create another book, one of my favorite books, using Drupal. Uh, Angie Byron, Addie Berry. But now we've come to the end, but if we say add another, uh, we get another sort of Ajaxy kind of uh, field pops up and, and we can add more, uh, add more fields, or add more uh, authors, including uh, James Walker and myself. Uh, you figured out why I like the book. Uh, O'Reilly, this one's not for dummies, this is for smart people. We don't insult your intelligence. Uh, ISBN number, we'll copy and paste it in. And the description will copy and paste it in as well as not to waste your precious time. So uh, for the book cover, we're going to go and actually get the URL where uh, this cover is somewhere else on the web and transfer it over to our website. It actually copies it over into the files directory in Drupal uh, and solves that problem of going to the other site, downloading it, then going, trying to find it on your hard drive where you downloaded it and uploaded it. Like, really wonderful module uh, called File Remote Sources. File Field Sources. File Field Sources. <laughs> I should know. Nate, who wrote it, works for me, but don't tell Nate. Um, so, uh, so now we've got uh, some books. Um, and uh, now we're going to display it better, because obviously we've got this giant uh, book image, and it's got the authors showing at the top, and the descriptions down the bottom, and when we go to the home page, we see this sort of blog-looking kind of, kind of uh, what we call a view in Drupal of things, and uh, um, it's just ain't pretty. Uh, and so we're going to go sort of prettify it a little bit. We're going to start by using the image cache module, which allows us to create what are called image cache presets, which, which uh, allow you to resize images on the site. Uh, and we're going to create one, uh, one preset called full size, where it just resizes the images to 300 pixels wide and whatever height they happen to be. We're going to create another one called uh, cover thumbnail, uh, which is going to be smaller as the thumbnail is smaller. Uh, and this one's just going to be 100 pixels wide. And again, whatever height ha things happen to be. And you can see a little preview down the bottom. You see a little DrupalCon head popping out there to show us. But, uh, but we're going too fast to really show you that. Uh, and uh, now we go into the, the display. Uh, we want to display publisher and ISBN in line. We don't want it to say cover above the image. It's obvious that that's the cover. Uh, and we want it to dis display uh, the thumbnail size on teasers. And on the full view, we want to display the full size image. And now, when we go to the home page, you can see that we're just showing the thumbnail size 
Uh, and those publisher and ISBN are showing in line. Basically, it says publisher and then O'Reilly right after it. Uh, and then when you go to the full node page, the full uh, content item page, uh, you've got the full size image. So that's all good, but the home page doesn't really feel like a catalog. We want to create a catalog for the site. So what we want to do is use the views module to create a catalog kind of a view. Uh, and this is a little bit intricate. Uh, views is a little bit intricate. I might go as far as to say a lot intricate. Uh, and, uh, but it's really powerful stuff. Uh, we're going to uh, create a view of, of nodes. Um, and uh, we want to add a display, a page display, called books. Seems appropriate. Uh, and we want to filter so that we only show published nodes that are book nodes. Again, node and content interchangeable. Uh, if you're new to Drupal, we're going to say node a lot. I apologize. Um, <clears throat> we also want to add uh, this draggable views uh, uh, sort order as the, um, the criteria by which we sort this view. You'll see how that works in just a minute. And then we want to actually display in, in the view, the actual fields that we're going to display are the cover, there we go, and the title. And both of those, so we want to show the thumbnail view of the cover, and we want that to link. So when you click on the thumbnail, uh, it's going to link to the, the full page. Uh, and we're going to also show the title below it, and we want that to link to the front page too. And we're going to create a path for this, a URL uh, where you can find this view. And we're going to, it's going to be at front slash view, and we're going to add a menu item for it. This menu item won't show up um, for <coughs> the end users. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show as a tab just for administrators. And again, we'll show you that in just a moment. We put in the primary navigation. Uh, something like that. And we're going to make it into a grid view. A grid view is a table view um, and allows us to show a grid of things. We've set it to four, uh, four columns wide. Uh, and we're going to now add another display that will allow us to sort uh, the order of, of, the, uh, of the books. Book sort order. <coughs> 